What's up, everybody? Welcome in to the Uptempo Podcast. It's Blake Lane here tonight to uh, do a little live stream of the Auburn Baseball Tigers. Currently, we're in the top of the fourth. Uh, runners on first and second, one out. Uh, Deshera just uh, lined a shot up the middle, uh, drove in two, and now Auburn's up four to nothing. And uh, now you got Bobby Pierce up to the plate. Check swing. He uh, goes around, 0-1 count. Uh, just uh, on here, excited to talk about some some uh, Auburn baseball, man. Excited to talk about some Auburn baseball. Uh, want, want, want to get some people in here uh, and uh, chat it up. And if you could, uh, you know, send us some comments and we'll discuss it. Bobby Pierce with a swing and a miss, 0-2 count. Runners on first and second with one out. Sonny D, man, Sonny D. How clutch has Sonny DeShera been this year? I mean, earlier in the game, I think it was the third inning, uh, UCLA, they had the first base open. They walked him. Um, and and right there with the bases loaded, you couldn't walk him. So there was nowhere to go. He had to swing the stick. Nice take right there by Bobby Pierce. Uh, we're in a one-two count. It's a fastball down in the dirt. Uh, like I said, one-two count, winner on first and second, one out. UCLA has got to beat Auburn twice. I like where Auburn sits in all of this. Uh, got to be beat twice. And if they're beat tonight, they'll come back tomorrow and play the game seven, the deciding game to go to the Supers. Bobby Pierce fouls off. Looks like a changeup and uh, still a one-two count. In the top of the fourth, man, Auburn's so close. Auburn's so close. To getting back to another super regional, right? You know, we had the year off last year. Uh, it was it was a learning experience, you know, and a tough season. Barely made it to Hoover, and now here we are, man. Now here we are. Bobby Pierce ground ball to third base. They can't roll two, so now you got runners on first and third with two outs. They get Sunny D the force at second. And uh, now you got Brooks Carlson. You got Brooks Carlson up to bat. Uh, super senior guy. Uh, transfer, big time transfer. Like we, uh, like we said about Sonny D, man. Nobody, you know, you, you don't want nobody else up besides Sonny D and Brooks Carlson. There, there's not two better, right? That's what we always say. And uh, Need a need a big AB right here. If Brooks if Brooks drives the ball right here, uh, that that should put Auburn up five to nothing, possibly scoring from first six to nothing. And with Auburn, they haven't used their bullpen. You know, they haven't used their bullpen at all, and they can stretch guys out. And I just don't see Auburn blowing a lead, especially if they bump this thing up right here five six nothing. I think Auburn's in the driver's seat. Got a 1-1 one, one count. Like I said, runners on first and third, two outs. Excuse me, top four. Brooks Carlson, super senior. Change up down the dirt. Bobby Pierce takes second. Got a 2-1 count. Brooks Carlson, love to see it. Way to – okay, State DG, my co-host DG, keeping me up to date. On all the other games, I'm sorry, but I can only, uh, I can only keep my guy. Uh, I can only keep, uh, can only keep Auburn on the TV. You know, I just, I'm locked into all Auburn games, and that's all I'm watching. You know, disconnect from this. Disconnect. There we go. Yeah, there we go. Get out of here. Yeah, there we go. Little ground ball. Brooks, ground ball to third base. UCLA gets out of it. They give up two. Four nothing. Mid four. Auburn in the driver's seat. 
Mason Barnett. So let me what, let me see what DG DG. Texting DG real quick, see what he's got to say. He just texts me uh, OK State. So I'm running over here to check this OK State. Check this OK State and uh, Arkansas game out. Let's see real quick. See him in baseball. And how about Tennessee, y'all? How about Tennessee, that comeback? Like, incredible. Incredible. You can never count Tennessee out, ever. Like, they're just the cardiac kids. I mean, like, you think you got them down and out, and bam, ninth inning, here they are. On your ass, pressure. UConn and Maryland, six to six in the eleventh. Wow, Oklahoma State up nine to eight on Arkansas, top nine with one out. Miami up three to one on Arizona. Texas nine to nothing over Air Force. Texas A&M up four three over TCU in the top of the seventh. Wow. Uh, Vandy all over Oregon State right now. All right, five to nothing. And Auburn fans, you you love to see that because not only is that who you're matched up with for your super regional berth, but Oregon State's going to have to play another game. It looks like if, if Vandy can hold this, and you're going to have to have to use some pitching, and you're going to have to play an extra day where Auburn will get a day's rest if Auburn can also hold on. So. Uh, Stanford and Texas State. All right, Texas State was my pick. Hey, I think Stanford come in and hit a two-run bomb in the in the bottom of the third. If I'm not mistaken. Appreciate that, DG. All right. Here we go, bottom fourth. Got a 1-1 one, one count. The third baseman, Kyle Karos, or Karos, or however you say his name. Dude's a stud, man. He's made some big plays for UCLA tonight, hitting 311 on the year. He made a really, really nice play uh, over by Auburn's dugout earlier on the foul ball from Case and Hal. Kind of shoved some guys over there and everything. Uh, ended up getting out of that inning. No, she said she said she was getting the ice cream pillow. That's not true. No, that's what she said. That's what she told me. That is what she told me. Here comes Barney with a one two count. That twelve six has been deadly for Barney. He's been putting it anywhere he wants it. Been throwing it for strikes tonight too. That's what you love to see. I mean Dude's just oh, – I think he's got like seven Ks. I mean, oh, look at that. If you're watching this game, look at that. That's filthy. It's filthy. That was more of a little slide piece right there on that one K. And his his velo on the fastball is there tonight too. He's running at about 95, 96, three and a third so far, one hit, three walks, six Ks. I knew I was close. When I said seven Ks, I knew I was close. Here we go. Bottom fourth, one out. Just a bit outside. Barney there, 95 on the fastball. He's thrown 63 pitches so far through four innings. Need him to go two more innings, honestly. We need him to get in that sixth, uh, that that sixth inning for sure. I would love to see that. That's a strike. Yes, sir. 94 right there on the outer half. Got a one-one count. Look at Alan Green sitting there posted up. A D for Auburn. Loving every minute of this, right? Your basketball team, they're going to March Madness, you know. Your baseball team, they're, what, five innings away from a Super Regional. There's a hook. Got a one-two count. Barney's Barney's locating it for strikes, all right? He's painting. He's painting. He He's throwing it for a strike. And these UCLA hitters, they, uh, they're fooled right now. They're fooled. So, 
get in here. That's a K. That's a K. Another K for Barney. That's seven on the night. You're four innings in. Three and two thirds so far with seven Ks. You love to see it. Uh, and my other my other coach, my brother D Lane, said Arkansas really about to gag. <laughs> Love that. Here we go. Atta boy. Barney starting it off 0 1 count right there. Nice pitch. Nice pitch, middle end. Great location. These UCLA hitters are having trouble, which, look, I was asked today on Facebook, like, 1-1, one, one, Barney misses right there, fastball in the outer half. I was asked today on Facebook, like, are you nervous about UCLA? Look, absolutely not, all right? I'm, I'm, I'll am I'm, be honest with you, I'm not nervous about UCLA. And the reason I'm not is because I don't really – I don't trust them offensively. Like, I don't think they're – I don't think they're really good offensively. I just don't um, – that, that whole 25-22 to 22 game against Oregon State or whatever, like, that was deep in that tournament and, you know, arms are a little tired and, and the Pac-12, man, they just kind of seems like they have games like that all year, right? You know, I mean, you look at some of their scores, it's like just high scoring matchups, like all throughout the conference, man. So, like, I, I just don't respect them offensively. You're facing a, a really solid Auburn staff, um, really, really good pitching staff from Auburn. And, you know, Mason Barnett was middle of the week guy earlier in the year, right? And here he is in a 2-2 count with two outs in the bottom of the fourth, and he just blows the fastball smooth by him. Uh, and what is that, eight Ks now? Bottom four, eight Ks? So Auburn, Auburn with four runs, three hits, no errors. UCLA, no runs, one hit, one error. So we're going to the fifth. Mason Barnett, he's on his shit. He's dealing. Used to be a middle of the week guy. Hayden Mullins goes down in the middle of the year with Tommy John. And here we are, Barney, absolutely shoving. Auburn, a few outs away from a super regional. You love to see it, right? Oh, man. What a night. Sunday night, lightning delay. It's 10 o'clock. Auburn gets started late. Hey, we're here for the long haul, all right? I'm not leaving. So if you want to get in, hop in here. Hop in here. Because I'm here all night talking Auburn baseball. I'm ready. I'm ready for Super Regionals. Hey, Vandy, let's go, baby. Vandy, let's go. All right? Let's go. I want I want Vandy. I want Vandy to take down Oregon State. I want Vandy to take down Oregon State so we can get the super regional at the highest. All right. Plainsman Park. I'm not ready. I'm not ready for Plainsman Park to run out of baseball. All right. I want Vandy to tap Oregon State. All right, because I want to go next weekend to a super regional. All right, I want to dog pile at Plainsman Park and go to the College World Series. So yes, people ask me, what do you, would you would you want a rematch with Vandy? Absolutely, absolutely, I would. I would take it in a heartbeat. All right, I know it's tough to beat teams multiple times throughout the year, and Auburn and Oregon State haven't haven't matched up this year. Couldn't care less. Couldn't care less. Give me Vanderbilt. All right, I tell you all the time on the podcast, Auburn can swing it with anybody. They can hit with anybody in the country. Brody Moore, five ball, right field. That's back. That's back to the wall. Brody Moore, home run, baby. Let's go. Let's go. Good shit, BMO. Good shit. Man, I got to get on Twitter for that one. Brody Moore, clock in, kid. Brody Moore, clock in.
Man, he caught the fastball right there. Caught the fastball and drove it smooth out to right field. Right fielder went back to the wall, went up, couldn't find it. See ya. Auburn up five to nothing. Hey, what a lead off an inning right there. Top five. Brody Moore comes up and just hits an absolute tank out to right field. Case and Howe squaring around with a bunt. Okay, love to see it. Just caught a ball, 1 0 count. Case and Howe, man. What a player, dude. What a player, Case and Howe. That ball that he tracked down in right center a while ago. <laughs> man, these Auburn fans, that dude right there, he's pure hammered. Uh, love to see it. Um, Group, that's a ball high, yeah. So you got two of Casey now. Look at Brody Moore in the dugout, dapping up, yeah, yeah, saying I'm the shit, I'm the best shortstop in the country, right? Let's see. Brody fucking Moore, dog. Sorry, had to text the co-host of the Uptempo Pod. Let them know, Brody fucking more, baby. Let's go. What we got? What we got? Let me post this real quick. Case and Hal taking the 92 fastball on the 3-0 count. Taking it right down the middle. Ninety-three fastball, Casey now fouls it off. Three-two full up. We should say Casey now. Find a way on base, kid. Let's add on. Let's add on. Here it is. Three-two. Hits him. Man, that's like the third or fourth guy that UCLA's hit. All right, look at the guy coming out from behind the plate. All right, all right, Blue coming out from behind the plate. He said, hey, that's about the third or fourth guy that UCLA's pegged. That a baby. That a baby. Case and Hal, man. What a stud. Like I just said, senior guy, senior leader, uh, you know, veteran guy, was, was on the Omaha run back in 19. And, you know, you just – you don't want anybody else uh, – out there in center besides him, man, just a freaking gamer. Dude is a gamer, man. Uh, now you got Nate LaRue from Mobile, Alabama, baby, stepping up behind the plate, man. Wasn't the starter at the beginning of the year, um, and and Auburn was getting ran on left and right, so they had to make a change. Nate's not a big average guy. He hits about 225, 235, somewhere around in there, uh, but, but he can hit the long ball, and when he does hit it, he gets a hold of it. Um, wow, UCLA with the pitch out. It's a 1 0 count. Man, <laughs> Michael Waltman. <laughs> <laughs> Go, Vandy. I want to host Supers. Same, brother. Same. No doubt, man. No doubt. Got a 1 1 count to Nate LaRue. Case and Howe with his lead over there. Oh, man, Nate. Fouls away. Fouls away that fastball. It was a little up. Yeah. Nate LaRue hitting 225, six home runs, 30 RBIs. Hitting in the eight hole, man. You know, you're not asking your catcher to come out and hit 280, 300. You're just asking you to play great defense, you know. I mean, and a swing and a miss right there on that little hook, slide piece. <sighs> One out. Case now still on first. Auburn up five, top five. Auburn's looking good, man. Auburn's looking really, really good. Mikey Bello, man. Let's talk about Mikey Bello. Hey, we got a viewer. Hop in here, man. Throw me a question. Let's chat it up. A Mikey Bello, man. Insert it in here. What a what a big what a big guy. All right. 
coming in here playing left field. Like we said, Mason Land hadn't been getting it done previous to this. Look at Mikey Bello with a shot to left field through the five six hole, and and that's a spark right there, man. That's a spark. Mikey Bello has been a freaking spark plug for this Auburn baseball team. He didn't get a whole lot of run during the during the year. Um, had some had some big abs earlier in the year, early on in conference play. But he has come on in this regional, and he has played his ass off. And Auburn's now got runners at first and second with one out. And now you're going to have Blake Ramblish, Rambo, man, best leadoff hitter in the NCAA, and there ain't no doubt about it. You hear me? He's the best hitter in the NCAA, uh, best leadoff hitter in the NCAA. Uh, dude can absolutely stroke it. Hell of a leadoff guy. Hell of a leadoff guy. Wow, Texas A&M uh, up 7-3 to three in top of the seventh over TCU. Got a runner on with one out there. A little off speed down in the dirt. Rambo lays off. Kaysen, is he thinking about – does he take three right here? Is he thinking about taking third? No way you take third right here. Not with Rambo at the plate. Not with Rambo at the plate. A little secondary. Secondary. Rambo right back to the pitcher. Oh. Mm. Mm. One, four, three, man. Double play. That's tough. A little jam. A little jam job. UCLA gets out of it. But, hey, Auburn strikes right there. Auburn strikes with the solo home run. Brody Moore leading it off. You love to see it. Let's hop on Twitter here real quick. See what the Auburn fans got to say. I know they're getting rowdy, man. They can freaking feel it. Did I mention that Brody Moore is a baller because Brody Moore is a baller? That's absolutely correct, man. Brody Moore, he's my favorite player. He, uh, He's just a dog, man. You know, he's not going to hit for a high average, and and his stats aren't always going to show up on the stat sheet, man. Like, like he's just a he's just a leader. He's a senior leader. He is just – he plays the game the right way. He hustles his ass off, and he makes shit happen, honestly. He makes shit happen, and that's what I love to see. And, and he flashes the leather. His glove is one of the best gloves in the whole entire country. He's just – he's that guy at short. He's hes who you want. He's played a lot of baseball. And, you know, I don't want anybody else. I really don't. I, I just – I love the way he plays the game. He is hands down my favorite Auburn player. Um, and, and that and that's including Sonny D, you know, and, and Brooks Carlson and all those guys that just tra transferred in. But, man, Brody is – he is that dude at short. He really is. Sup, sup, got a viewer, one viewer in here. Love to see it. If you want to hop in this chat, get in here. We'll talk some Auburn baseball. Like, I hate commercials, dog. Like, like they're just worthless. Like, I'm just not a fan of commercials at all. They're back in Auburn. Love to see it, man. Look at Plainsman Park just lit up. Fans on a Sunday night at 10 o'clock. You got to go to freaking work in the morning, dog. And it's 10 o'clock, and we're piped out, packed out, just to the freaking roof, cuz. We're out there looking at them all on center field. Look at them out there, stretched in the right center. On the hill, dog. Love that. Love it. Square to bunt. Barney misses high. Little 92 right there. Bottom five. 1-0 count. Barney's look damn good, man. I, I said it before the game started. He needed to be on his shit. He needed to have the velo on the fastball. And what? They've made a little base tip on attempt right there. Rolls foul. They've made what? The leadoff guy hit a double in the, the, the first inning. That was really the only hard contact they've really had, man. Like that 12-6 to six has been – Freaking deadly. I mean, he's been throwing it for strikes all night, burying it when he needs to. You love to see it, man. Look at Vandy. Bottom six, baby. Come on, Vandy. Texas State ties it up two to two in the fourth. Wow. Love to see that. That was that was me and DG's uh one pick right there. You know, we 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 love that Tennessee moving on. Look at that 12 to 6, man. That 12 to 6 from Barney. You love to see it. 
me get, let me move real quick. Oh, there we go. And how good, like, how good has Barney been, man? Like, you, you love to see it. You love to see it. One two pitch, 12 6. He laid off on it. It's down on the dirt. Good pitch, solid pitch. Nate LaRue back there using the chest protector, blocking it up. At 75 pitches, man. We need him to get through here and give us one more. I want to see one more. I want to see him get into the sixth and work the sixth. If, if he runs into trouble, that's fine. But I want to see him get into that sixth. Get out of here. Good pitch. Brody Moore, quick hands. What a play by Brody Moore, baby. Love to see it. Love to see it. Went up the middle, quick hands, fielded it, got rid of it. Hey, Maryland beats UConn. They'll play tomorrow. Look at there. Love Brody Moore. Great play, kid. Dude, he's just a dog. He's just a dog. Simple and plain. He's just a dog. Okay, State about to force one. Uh, apparently, OK State. Uh, they're up 10 to 8. Arkansas does have a runner on the Arkansas does have a runner on in the bottom of the ninth. Auburn is in the bottom of the fifth with one out. I'm staying here until the game's over. You love to see it. Barney misses outside. 93. The Velo on the fastball. Still there right now. Still there. He he's dropped down from 95, but it's it's still solid. I'll take 93, 94 all day. He's at 77 pitches right now. I'm okay with that. Uh, even if he doesn't come out for the sixth, you know, we're still at full strength in the bullpen. Burke Halter, Carson Skipper, and they've all been on the shelf. Swilling, Allsup, all those guys, they've all been on the shelf, man. We're, we're, we're fully stocked with arms out of the bullpen this weekend because we have just absolutely taken care of business. We've scored 45 runs, man, in, in three games right now. We've scored 45 freaking runs, dude. Look at that. Look at that. Barney with the 12-6, man. It's ridiculous, bro. He's throwing it for a strike almost every time, and it's just dropping off the table. It's just dropping off the table. UCLA, they're, they're fooled right now. They're fooled. This is a big A-B. This is a big A-B right here. Because if he, if he K's this guy right here, this place is going to go nuts. Lays off the high heat, ran it up there, elevated it, got it up to 94. 2-2 two, two count, bottom five, one out. UCLA at the plate. Look at Barney, man. He's just locked in. Just locked in. Cool, calm, collective. Got to go fastball right here. Fastball. Throw the fastball. Fastball. Sit down, 95 on the outer half, baby. Sit down. Two away, bottom five. Barney, man. Barney. Hey. He's getting the game ball. He's getting the game ball. Look at him with the sway of the arms. I mean, what a stud, man. This has been so freaking huge to this team. Like with Hayden Mullins going down, we talked about earlier, Hayden Mullins goes down and he just steps up. So freaking clutch for this team, man. So clutch. Look, <laughs> bang, 94. 94 outer half. What's up, babe? Are you giving me a water? <laughs> Thank you so much. Hey, she's been through it, man. She's had a rough day, really tough day. Um, it's a fist job, and Casey and Howe runs under it. That was the 0-1 pitch, and Auburn moving on to the top of the sixth. You love to see it. Auburn five, UCLA nothing. UCLA no runs, one hit, one error. Auburn five runs, five hits, no errors. Yeah, like I said, she's had a tough day. She worked 12, 14 hours at the hospital, right? And I'm sitting here on the internet doing a live stream. I've had it easy. I went and watched some T-ball this morning. Uh, some, uh, I should say this morning, this afternoon. Uh, some six-year-olds at Westside down here in Mobile, Alabama, right? My cousin... He plays for Grand Bay All-Stars. And they weren't supposed to beat Fairhope, six-year-old All-Stars. And, look, I'm the type of person, like, when I watch baseball, it's either college baseball or professional baseball, okay? 
I don't want to watch no coach pitch or minor league or t-ball game or nothing. Right, uh, nothing like. Could absolutely stroke. Okay, oh, look, I know they're hitting off a tee in their children, but these cats could hammer the baseball. All right, there's one kid from West Side out there. I mean, he was hitting the top of the fence every time. Like, and and I'm not talking about like he just, you know, he just, ugh, and and it and it goes, you know, a little fly ball up in there and everything. No, he was hitting lasers off the tee, like absolute lasers to right center. Okay. And and he's right-handed, okay? So he's hitting that bitch backside lasers off the tee. I mean, it looked like you were doing tee work in high school and college, and he was hitting pure lasers at six years old. It was incredible. It was incredible. Um, and the defense, like my cousin's team, they have a they have a, a a a girl playing second base, and she was an absolute hooper, an absolute hooper. I mean, th- they were hitting shots at her. And she was just snapping them off, just snapping them off. Um, but yeah. Huh? No, no, you're good. Oh man, <clears throat> Cole Foster. 2-0. He's ahead 2-0. Top six. Here comes the 2-0 pitch. Cole Foster just missed it. Slams the bat down. Gets under it. Right fielder coming in. Makes the play. He knew it. He knew it as soon as he made contact. He knew it. He felt it. Oh, man. But, yeah, those T-ballers. Absolute studs, man. Absolute studs. It was it was really, really fun to watch. Like, I didn't think I was going to have that much fun watching it, but I was like, oh, man, you know, like I got to go out here and watch like T-ballers and like little six-year-olds play and everything. Like, bro, it surprised me. There's some talent out there. Let's see here. Sunny D, man. It's a ball, 92, low and out. <clears throat> I mean, is this place going to go nuts if Sonny D hits this bitch up, right? It's going to go nuts. I mean, no way they give him anything to hit right here. Oh, uh, a little off speed, a little, little slide piece right there. 1-1. One, one. Uh, let's see here. Let's see here. Uh, one one pitch inside. This is in. Not a very competitive pitch. Like I said, man, they're, they're probably not gonna give. <laughs> they're probably not gonna give Sunny D anything to really hit right here. I mean, if they do, I'm shocked, right? But there's no way. There's no way you can give him anything to hit. Wow, they did. Oh, <laughs> they just went change up right down the cock, and uh, he he swung right through it. He's probably expecting a fastball. 2-2 two, two pitch, one out, top six. Let's see here. That's the end. Full up. Sunny D, great at bat right here. Wow. He held the check swing. Sonny D walks. You know, <laughs> that wasn't even competitive. 3 2 pitch. That wasn't even competitive. Like, be better, man. Go right at him. Stop playing around, you know? Stop playing around. Go right at him. Let the man hit. He's in college, dog. Bobby Pierce, runner on first. They hit him. Bro, 
what the fuck? That's like the fifth guy that UCLA's hit tonight. <laughs> the home plate umpire keeps coming out to the man. He's like, hey, dog, like, you know, like, get it under control. I got my headphones on. Yeah, you got them headphones on, don't you? Bobby Pierce, love that. Runners on first and second, one out. Top six. Uh oh, a little pitch and change. A little pitch and change for UCLA. Love to see it. Oh, let's see here, man. I love you. Good night. Good night. I love you. Let's see here. Let's see here. Going to commercial break. Man. Oh, people, man. People, like, with the intentional walks to Sunny, like, it just kills me, bro. Like, like I've never seen somebody that feared in college baseball. Like, it, it's insane. I mean, he's the Juan Soto of college, right? He's the Juan Soto of college. Let me uh copy this link real quick. He's the Juan Soto of college. I mean, he's the best hitter in the game. And when there's a base open, they're just like, hey, put him on, you know. And like I was saying earlier, even when they don't put him on, like the pitches aren't even competitive. Like it's it's not even competitive. And I'm sorry if it's kind of dark in here, but like, you know, the 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 woman, the fiance and the, the kid, like they're trying to go to sleep. Like she's, you know, uh, 14 hour work day, you know. My Aggies, yes, sir. Santiago, love that, my buddy. Hey, love them Texas a and Aggies, man. Hey, I actually said on here uh, a couple weeks ago uh, on the podcast, man, that – and on Twitter, I, I said, you know, there might not be a better – there might not be a better team in college baseball right now than Texas A&M. They, 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 they really, really hit it well. They really hit it well. And, and their pitching is really good. I know Auburn took two out of three from them earlier in the year. But, man, after that Auburn series, they found something. And they're just playing really, really good baseball, man. Like, they're loaded. One through nine, they hit. They hit for power. They can do it all, man. A really solid team for Omaha. Really solid team. I, I love Texas a and and And, honestly, man, I think that – like, I wouldn't be surprised if Texas a and won the whole thing. Like, that's how good they are. Like, I know everybody's on Tennessee, but Texas A&M is really, really good, man. Jake Som, 26th appearance on the season. UCLA bringing this guy in. Uh, he's a lefty. Let's see what he's got. Brooks Cross on the transfer, man. The, the, the other transfer from Stanford coming in here. Um like I said a while ago, he's been a really big piece for Auburn. Really, really, really big bat. Been playing all over the field. Been DHing a lot lately. Love Brooks. He just uh, took a change up down in the dirt first pitch. They're going to have to come right at him because uh, there's a runner on first and second. What's up, babe? Can I turn it on? What? No, not at all. I'm good. They're going to have to come to Brooks right here. Fastball. Misses up and away. What'd she say? She said, KK. <laughs> no. Y'all are good. I'm live. It's all right. It happens. Hey, they got to talk. I'm talking. 2 0 count. Brooks Carlson. One out. Runners on first and second. Little lefty UCLA's got in here. Doesn't, doesn't, uh, you know. 86. That's what he's got. 86 right there. Two one count. Brooks. Brooks. Let's go off the right field wall, baby. 
It's a stand-up double. Sonny D coming around to score. Bobby moves to third. Let's go. Let's go. Love it, baby. Love it. Good stuff. Good stuff. Man, Brooks Carlson. Can't say enough about him. You know, we talked about him earlier. <sighs> hell of an AB, man. Hell of a guy. Hell of a hitter. Uh, just been a, a huge spark plug for Auburn this year. Him and Sonny D coming in. Uh, Auburn, man, going up six to nothing. They can taste the Super Regional. Top six, runners on second and third. Auburn's about to blow this thing wide open, man. Brody Moore. All right, here you go, senior leader, veteran guy. Hey, good take. Didn't like that right there. 86, outer half, <clears throat> Brody laid off on it. Kind of looked back at the at the <laughs> home plate umpire, and he said, hey, a eh, little questionable. I feel like Auburn's going to hammer this guy. I feel like they're just going to hammer. A little breaking ball down in the dirt. Catcher blocks it up. Runners on second and third. One out. One one count to Brody Moore. I just feel like Auburn's about to hammer this cat. Like He doesn't have overpowering stuff. 86 from the left side. Nothing special. Brooks just drove him off the wall. You got to come on. Yeah, I mean, you got to come with a fastball right here to Brody. If you hang something, Brody might hit it over the monster. Honestly, don't don't fuck up right here. Fastball away, eighty-seven. Like I said, nothing special, man. Nothing special. Santiago, man, appreciate you for commenting. Love the love the subscription from you yesterday, man. Um, and we're gonna pump out these Omaha winners. Uh, so I will definitely let you know when we get that going, my buddy. I really appreciate you following the, the pod. Okay, breaking ball in the outer half. Brody spit on it. 2-2 two, two count. Uh, we need a ball put in play right here. I'll take a ground ball to second base all day. Make it 7 nothing. top six. I will take that all day. No strikeout right here. Don't go chasing. Wow, Stanford 5-2 to two on Texas State. Just looked up in the right corner. Here we go. Brody. That a boy. But it fight the fastball off. Fastball low. Brody fights it off. Battling, man. Like I said, senior guy, leader, your shortstop, your leader, your veteran. Uh, just a battle, a, a, a battling machine, man. That's that's the way I look at him. He's guts. He's nothing but guts. <clears throat> Excuse me. 2-2 two -two pitch. Runners on second and third. One out. Top six. All run up six to nothing. He hung it. Brody, oh, infield was in. Brody Moore just hit a piss missile to shortstop. <clears throat> right at him, man. Right at him. And I'm okay with that, all right? I'm okay with it. Infield was in. Brody hit a piss missile. They were trying to, you know, cut the cut, cut Bobby Pierce down at the plate. He just hit it right at him, man. There's nothing you can do about it. He's seeing it. Dog, Brody Moore is seeing it. He's seeing beach balls right now, and you love to see that. If Brody Moore's hitting, dog, we're on all. All right, I can feel it. Case and Howe. Don't count him out either. He's a dog. Oh, oh, in the dirt. Little change piece to look like. Oh, man, I think Bobby Pierce just got picked off. I think I think they're about to review this. I think Bobby Pierce just got picked off. Their catcher just hit a snap throw down to third, and Bobby was just chilling, cuz. Bobby was just chilling. Oh, man, he got that walking. He's mm, – I don't know. It's hard to tell from that angle. Appreciate the like. Appreciate that. Really, really appreciate it. I appreciate all of you tuning in, uh, commenting, subscribing to the podcast, whatever, man. Uh, really, really appreciate that. Really love you guys. Uh, 
they, they got the headsets on. They got the headsets on. Uh, man, you know, you know what I'm I'm ultimately just uh beat up about is like me and DG were on that we were on that Georgia Southern regional and we were we were locked in to them not making it out, right? We we both agreed on it, but man, we overlooked Notre Dame, dog. Like I watched them a couple times in the year and I liked them. But I really like Texas Tech and and Jace Young and and those guys and just Notre Dame, man. They're pitching. Notre Dame's pitching is really, really good, like really good. And they can also hit it a little bit. Like we were saying, like they might not hit for a lot of power, but they can hit. And they're kind of circling up right here. Let's see what they say. Two guys got on the headsets. They're talking. It's really hard to tell from the angle, too, where where uh, Brody slid back in. It was really tough. They caught him safe on the field. So this might be one of those plays. Look at Vanderbilt, dog. Eight to nothing, top seven over Oregon State. You love to see it. I, hey, I might have to take off work tomorrow and watch these game sevens. Funny. <laughs> Here we go. He's safe. Man. Look, I know we didn't get the best view of it down there from the line and everything because it was bang bang live action, right? But man, it looked freaking close, dog. It looked freaking close. UCLA's third baseman, like I said earlier, man, he's a stud. UCLA's third baseman is a stud. Dude's really good, really really good. I love getting on Twitter, man, and just like reading the just the dumb shit people put on Twitter, right? Like, I absolutely love it. Like, <laughs> the Auburn fans are elite at Twitter, dog. Like, it is so freaking funny. Uh, 2-0 pitch to Case and Howe. Here we go. Top six runners on second and third. Two outs, 2-0 pitch. Here we go. Misses out. 3-0. Um, like I said, man, this dude doesn't have overpowering stuff. He doesn't have overpowering stuff. Do you give Case in the green light here? Do you give Case in the green light? He's taken. Ball four. Low and out. 86. The guy, the guy's 86, 87, man. We got crime stain, no scores, took the under 13 and a half. LOL. <laughs> oh man. Uh bases loaded right here. Two outs. You got Nate LaRue. Nate LaRue's due, man. He's due. Uh no scores. Love that. Uh, six nothing, top six. Like I said, Nate's due, man. He's due. He's been, he's been, he's been on, uh, he's been on the fastballs here lately. But he's just there. It is Nate Larue, left center. I just said it, baby. Let's go, Nate Larue, left center, scoring from first, scoring from first, scoring from first. Let's go. We're going to a super regional, baby. I can feel it. Let's go, nine to nothing, Auburn. I just got it out of my mouth. Nate LaRue is due. Let's go. Let's go. Told you it'd been all over it, man. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> hey. <laughs> 13 and a half, man. It's getting hairy. It's getting hairy up in here. Let's go. Dog, if, if Auburn goes to Omaha <sighs> – Hey, <laughs> if Auburn goes home, all hey, I'm checked out here in a couple of weeks. All right, Daddy's Daddy's fine in Nebraska. You heard me. All right, I, I might only get to stay up there for a day or two, but Daddy is fine to Nebraska. Mm, okay, that was painted right there, Mikey Bello looking at one. Not a bad take though. That's not that's not Bello's pitch, man. That's not Bello's pitch. Top six, runner on second, two outs. Nate LaRue, man, just hit an absolute piss missile to left center. Oh, Bello. That's going to hang in here. UCLA gets out of it. Auburn, nine to nothing, man. Nine to nothing, going to the bottom of the six, absolutely spanking the tater. Nate LaRue, man. Nate LaRue, love to see it. Nate LaRue, let's get on this Twitter. Nate LaRue, 
Mobile, Alabama, stand up. Are we going to get to see a dog pile? Are we going to get to see a dog pile at Plainsman Park? All right. I've been waiting. All right. I've been waiting to see a dog pile at Plainsman Park. Crime scene, love the comment, bro. You cracked me up with that under 13 and a half. No scores under 13 and a half. Love that. As soon as I read that, man, as soon as I read that, Nate LaRue just drives a piss missile. Yeah, Graham, this Auburn offense, man, no doubt. I love watching this Auburn offense. This is what we watched all year. And then, like, the last two weeks of the season, they went into hibernation, you know. Um, let's see here. Um, the fiance text me. I can turn the light on. No, I'm just I'm staying up late with you guys. Okay, I'm staying up late. I turn the lights off. I don't need it. It's fine. Go night night. I had a long day. Love it. I'll be I'll be over there in just a minute. All right. I gotta see this freaking dog pile, baby. Gotta see this dog pile. It's just been so long. All right. And, and I feel like 2019 was ages ago. I feel like it was ages ago. All right? Like, I'm Nebraska. I, I will drive my ass to New Orleans and get on an airplane, all right, and go to Omaha, Nebraska. All right? I will. I'll do it in a heartbeat. Foul ball to play. Did she just catch that? What a catch. What a catch. What a catch. Dog, she, she yeah, snapped that bit. Man, that 12 6 is so fucking nasty. I mean, Barney, coming out here for the sixth, all right? He's at 85 pitches. This is his last inning. I I mean, I think it's his last inning. I'm not going to say that it's his last inning, but, you know, I think it's his last inning. Oh, got away from him. 92, elevated up, almost to the backstop. Nate LaRue goes up and snags it. Up in line, 53. Still got a shot. Oh, yeah, of course you do. Of course you do. Yeah, UCLA's not scoring, dog. I I don't think – I don't respect them offensively. I, I said that before the game started. You know, I, I got asked uh, on um, on Facebook earlier, and they were like, are you scared of UCLA? And I was like, absolutely not because like, they're just – they don't hit great, bro. Like, that Pac-12 out there is so underwhelming. Like, people are like, oh, they scored 25 runs against Oregon State. Yeah, they did score 25 runs against Oregon State, but – I just don't believe in Pac-12 sports. Like it's just not great to me. Like it's it's not good. Everybody says, like, "Man, that 12-6 is freaking disgusting, disgusting." Mason Barnett with another K. That's like nine or ten. Dude's filthy tonight. He's locked in. Oh, this Auburn pitching staff is nasty. Just think if they had a healthy Hayden Mullins, bro. Like. Yeah, but yeah, you. I mean, you definitely still have a shot because it's it's four runs to work with. I don't see UCLA scoring, but I mean Auburn, <laughs> Auburn. That could be one inning for Auburn. But we're hoping for under thirteen and a half. All right, we're hoping for under thirteen and a half. We're gonna rock with it because I think Auburn's got this uh, this nine nothing lead wrapped in the bag. So, what is it now? Come on, Barney. Hey, you're okay. You're okay. What's going on? 
I can't hear anything. What's going on? What's going on? I don't, I don't, I don't have audio. What's going on, babe? Huh? What's going on? Turn it up. Not too loud. Aren't you watching over there? Yeah, but I don't have audio because I'm not wearing my. Lightning strike. Oh, I figured that's what it was. So Barney's done, man. Barney's done. But guess who's not done? We're not done, all right? Because we're not we're not fucking leaving, all right? We're not fucking leaving. All right? We're here. We're watching dog pile. But it's a 30 minute. It's a 30 minute. Like, just call it, bro. It's not a nothing. Like you're not coming back. We're spanking your ass. Like, go back out to the West Coast, California, you know. Lightning, bro. Lightning. Ugh. What other games are on? Let's go. Let's let's let's. We're not done here. All right, here. Let's just off of Auburn. Maybe leave that one on Auburn. And if they come back, we'll we'll hop back on here and talk about Auburn. But let's let's uh see what we got. Oregon State and Vanderbilt. Auburn, UCLA, Arizona, Miami, Oklahoma State, Arkansas, Texas State, Stanford. What's that? Oklahoma State, Arkansas. Is that still going on? Like. Just, just all you got to do is just uh, go back to the Hulu. Just go back to the Hulu. Turn it down a little bit. What's a? Oh wow, Oklahoma State, bro. Fourteen to ten in the tenth. What the fuck happened? Two outs, top ten. What just happened? I just flipped it over here. If somebody can catch me up, catch me up, catch me up. What happened? What happened? Dude, how crazy has this regional been? There's. The scores have been like 29 to 22, all right? Like 19 to 15. Like, this shit is nuts, bro. Like, Arkansas, like we said on our uh, – me and DG were talking about Arkansas's offense, like how they've been struggling. They couldn't beat Alabama. Like, Auburn game done. No, bro, they're in a lightning delay. They're in a lightning delay. So, it's like a 30-minute delay minimum, 30-minute minimum delay. But they can't start. Yeah, so it's 1046. Like, I don't think they can resume after 11. So, yeah. Damn, it's 1046. Like, I didn't even know it was that late. Mm -hmm. Let me, uh, let me get, yeah, 1046. Like, wow, I didn't know it was that late. But yeah, like, I don't think you can resume after 11. So, that, they might have to come back and finish it tomorrow. If so, like, I'm going to be pissed. Man, dog. Let's see. Let's see. There's going to be so many good games on tomorrow, though. Like, babe, have you checked out this slate? <laughs> She's like, man, I don't watch college baseball. She's missing out, though, because I watch it. I've been saying a lot. I know. I know. Tough day at the hospital. She's a nurse, man. I mean, just she called me with some news a while ago, and I was just like, you know, like mad respect to nurses and everything. There's no way I could do it, all right. And uh, if if you know if you know a nurse, man, show them love because they deserve every little uh, every little uh, every little piece of love you can give them, man. That they are uh, absolutely great at what they do. What a freaking play by Arkansas's third big! My God, what a cannon! Jesus, a uh, hell of a play. Arkansas down four, going into the bottom of the tenth. Love to see this. I, and, and I tell you, the way Arkansas has been battling in this, like, I'm, I wouldn't be shocked if Arkansas comes back and wins this game. Like, that's how fucking crazy this regional has been. It's it just been fucking insane. Like, first time for a rain delay, Auburn kicking ass, then a rain delay. I hate rain delays like this because then when they come back out, it's a ball game. Absolutely not. Going to disagree with you, Auburn Homer. 
Uh, it's not a nothing dog. Like I don't UCLA doesn't scare me offensively. They're not coming back in this game. And uh, rain, uh, lightning delay, call the game, you cowards. <laughs> uh, I absolutely love Auburn Twitter. Like, love it. Don't want to be anywhere else. Lead me on Auburn Twitter. Um, guys, if you're tuning in, man, subscribe. Hit that like button. You love to see it. Appreciate y'all tuning in. War Damn Eagle to y'all. That, that's a fact, all right? War Damn Eagle. I wanted to see a freaking dog pile, man. The only rain in the state of Alabama is over Auburn right now. That irritates me, obviously. Um, Freaking sucks, man. Freaking sucks. Like, I want to see a freaking dog pile tonight, man. I don't want to be at work and having to live stream it at work. Like, that's fucking piss poor, dog. Like, I don't want to do that. I want to watch it tonight. I, Barney, man. D- 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 like, man, I'm pissed off, bro. He was dealing. He was dealing. And now he can't come back out. Five, five and one thirds, one hit, zero runs, three walks, and 10 Ks. That's career high. All right, 10 Ks career high. Let me retweet that real quick. Yeah, you freaking stud. You stud, Mason Barnett. Barney, son. Shoving tonight. I don't know nothing. Call the game. Call the game. <laughs> Man. They're really going to make us come back and play this tomorrow. <laughs> These, hey, Auburn Twitter. Go check out Auburn Twitter. Go check out Auburn Twitter. It is fucking hilarious. Oh, wow. This is what happened. So, Michael Turner for Arkansas hit a two-run bomb in the eighth, in the bottom of the eighth. Oh, that is how they got in the – wow. I did not know that. I did not know that. But here we are, bottom ten, Arkansas, Oklahoma State. All right, 1-0 pitch. Right down the – cock, 94. All right. What we got here? 94, 94, 94, 94. Let's see here. Lightning delay, DG. Lightning delay. Ten fifty, man. Like this sucks. This sucks. Two one count right here, bottom ten. Mm. Deep fly ball. Hit it about 360 to left center. Okay, State tracked it down. One out, bottom 10. One out, bottom 10. <sighs> man, like I said, man, these regional games, like these regional games have been fucking nuts in this regional. Like Oklahoma State, Arkansas. Like, but like Oklahoma State was down like 12 to nothing earlier today. And they come back and won like 29 to 15 or something like that. Insane. Like, absolutely insane, man. Shit's nuts. Arkansas, 1 0, bottom 10, 1 out. Like, look at Oakland. Look at Oklahoma State's fans. They're like, you know, like, as long as you don't do the surrendering Cobra, uh, 2 0. Oklahoma State will walk a small village, dog. Like, <laughs> the. They walked like what five people in a row last night. Like, shit was crazy. Um, weird camera view of the third baseman. Like, they're like, why? That's a strike 93 on the inside half. Like, you got to get a base runner on right here. Like, you, you got to be patient. Like, I understand people are like, oh, it's a 2 0 count. Like, you got to swing right there. You got to be looking to hit fastball. But you also got to get somebody on base right now. Like, you got to be patient. Like, there, that's a ball. Yeah. Yeah. Don't, don't complain right there. That's a ball. 3 1 count. Now, um, you're, you're taking 3 1. You got to take right here. You, you got to, it also, you're down four. You got to, you got to find a way on. You got, you have to get a, a base runner. 
on, like, you have to take 3-1. You have to. And there's ball four. And her half, almost hitting. That's why you take 3-1. All right. Uh, red light. You got a runner on. One out. Now, uh, let's see who's coming up for Arkansas. I don't know their lineup off the top of my head. Is the game for sure postponed? But I don't know. Like, I'm trying to figure out um, on Auburn Twitter. Like, uh, let's see. Caleb, man, he was he was dealing, dude. He was dealing. I and like I hate he had to come out, man. Like so frustrating, so frustrating. Barney was dealing for Auburn, bro, and he had to come out. One one count. Who's this? Oh, this is more from Arkansas. One one count. Tenth inning, down four. Bottom tenth. Runner on first. One out. See what Arkansas's got, man. They're so gritty and grimy, bro. Like, you just can't count Arkansas. Oh, he got under it. Oh, he got under it. Oh, wow. Damn. Oklahoma State comes in. Right fielder comes in, makes the catch. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Auburn deserves that. Wow, Miami lost. Miami is eliminated. 0-2, dog. A national seed. Number six overall seed. They just hit him. Did they hit him? Battles? No? Okay. Just a little in. Didn't get to see it clean there. But uh, a little in. And uh, it's a 1-0 count. Runner on first. Two outs. Arkansas down to their last out. Bro, I'm tr I'm trying to see if the game's postponed. Like, I'm looking everywhere. I, th I think that it – let me go to Kendall Rogers' page. I don't – let's go to Auburn baseball. Take a bow. Like, what is the deal? Lindsey Crosby. Let's go to Lindsey Crosby. Lindsey. Okay, come on, bro. There he is. Oh, Lindsey Crosby. I was spelling it S E Y and it's S A Y. As much as I listen to him and follow him, like I never noticed that. It's time for a second. While we're waiting, scoreboard in the Cavallis region. Vanderbilt is beating Oregon State in the top of the eighth. If that score holds, they play tomorrow for the regional. Oregon State would host a super if they win Monday. Auburn would host if Vandy wins Monday. Does it have to be the end of an inning to call the game? It usually does. Yeah. The early belief up here in the press box looking at the radar is that this one's getting pushed to tomorrow per Lindsey Crosby. And the tarps are coming out, not the little one for the mound, but the big one. So, yeah, with that, it looks like it's getting postponed until tomorrow. So, looks like Auburn's going to have to pick back up tomorrow. And that freaking sucks, man. Oklahoma State just got the third out, so they're going to play tomorrow, uh, 14 to 10. Look, I'm not ready to get off here, but yeah, Auburn's going to have to come back tomorrow. Right. They're going to have to come back tomorrow. Let's see what. Let's see what other we got. Babe, like I, I'm not ready to get off here. We still got some good baseball to watch. You got people watching you. Absolutely. Let's, let's see here. Let's see who we got. Who we got. Who we got. Who we got. Okay, mm -hmm. does my controller just not want to work anymore? Okay. Let's see who we got. Texas A&M. Let's go to Texas A&M and TCU. Love to see that. What? He has been an activation code. 
ESPN.com slash. Like, that, this is one thing, like, I hate about, uh, like, ESPN Plus, though, is, like, if I pay you five, six dollars a month for a, a subscription, like, don't make me keep going back and forth to, like, ESPN.com, activate to, like, make sure you're with your TV provider and all that. Like, bro, I've been paying you six dollars a month for, like, five fucking years. Like, come on, man. Six five, why? Okay, this shit just annoys me. Like it, it, it just, just. What is um Hulu dog? Like I'm with Hulu. Like I've always, since I've had this, like I've been with Hulu. Like now you're asking me for all my stuff. It's really annoying. Man, you know what? Get out of that hole. It's probably going to be under yours, isn't it? Because we switched to. Man, I need a new controller. Like, I need to buy one like this week. Like, see how it just jams up like that? Like, crazy. I hate it. Freaking controller sucks. Texas State Stanford. <clears throat> All right. Baby, you're going to have to give me your email and stuff. For what? The um, the Hulu stuff. I'll oh. text it to you. Okay. And password. A2GPRJL. Oh, God. We're about to get some games on our what is it? Uh K Ledkins. Kelsey Ledkins at gmail.com. Yeah, but let's see. Oh man. Dude, that freaking sucks, man. Auburn's game postponed. Freaking sucks. Till tomorrow. Per Lindsey Crosby. Per Lindsey Crosby. Game postponed until tomorrow. It sucks. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, yeah. Definitely thank you, but I was just kind of more frustrated. All right. At, okay, Texas State, 5-3. to uh, They're coming back. Stanford's up 5-3, to three, but Texas State coming back. You'd love to see that. Um See what we got right here. Do, 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 <laughs> Man. Ashley, uh, talking about Miami, you got beat out in one day. Like, I, <laughs> hey, at least they're at home. They don't have to travel back, you know. Um that's the fun part. Hey, is it kind of hot in here to you? You wish it was If you don't mind. I mean, I can get up and turn it on. All right. Yeah. Well, I knew I was getting that reaction. All right. <laughs> <laughs> um, Stanford 5-3 to three over Texas State. Like, if you're watching, would you rather, like, talk about Stanford Texas State or would you rather talk about Texas A&M and TCU? I'm kind of down with Texas A&M TCU for real. Well, let's see. Let's let it let it roll across the screen and see what the score is, and like we'll just talk about like the closest game. Yeah, Texas State just drew a walk. Love to see it. Runners on first and second, top six, two outs. Absolutely love that. Need a big hit right here. Need a big hit. I had Texas State all day. I'm not even watching the top right of the screen. Been saying like, oh, look for Texas A&M and everything. I'm just getting on my phone to check it. Let's see. What is it? 
Vandy eight to one, bottom of the eighth. Love to see it. Oh yeah, Texas A and M eight to seven in the bottom of the eighth. Fuck yeah, we're headed over there right now. Headed over there right now. Get out of here. Oh my foot. It's not gonna go that far. Excuse me. Oh. And the Warriors? What the Warriors did? Did the Warriors uh absolutely drum the Celtics? It looks like I just see on these YouTube TV like sixty-two to fifty-four, like Steph out here hitting forty-foot jumpers with ease. I don't see official delay on Twitter. It might be a few hours. Um, Lindsey Crosby just said that uh, they just like put the tarp over the entire infield, and they're talking in the press box right now that they're probably going to come back and play tomorrow. It's like it's not official, but um, hey, hey. Uh, but they can't come back after like 11, 11 30 or whatever that rule is to where, um, so they're going to push it to tomorrow. No, she didn't mess me up. She said that you were sleeping in the middle of the time. Oh, me? So she, she just got on your pillow. Okay. That's it. She said he can sleep there. All right. Well, when she uh, when she falls off in the middle of the night. Yeah. So it's uh, it's. Uh, I mean, I kind of get the rule, but it, honestly, it's they're in the sixth inning, bro. Like nine to nothing. Just. I mean, a rain delay you usually call it after what, like five innings? They call it and call a full game, whatever. I don't know. I don't know. It's just kind of stupid. It is what it is. Texas a and TCU. Number five, national seed. Bottom eight, TCU got a runner on. Wow, one out. Oh, man. I appreciate you guys hitting that like button, subscribe, whatever. Uh, I really appreciate it. Been doing this for an hour and 17 minutes. Oh, yeah, that, hit that fan. Oh man, little little quick visit to the mind from Texas A&M. Let's see. Oh yeah, that feels better, way better. Um, da, 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 da. weird. Hell yeah, we're really good. Auburn baseball, that is really good. Studs, baby. We hit, we hit, we pitch. We do it all. You love to see it. Absolutely love to see it. What a dominating performance from Auburn tonight. It's absolutely dominating. TCU just stole second. Rut row. We got a ball game, folks. Oh, man. Eight to seven. Texas a &M. Bottom eight. Runner on second. One out. Ground ball to second base. Texas A&M makes the play. Throw to first. Got him. Runner moves from second to third. Two outs. And it's still the bottom of the eighth. So, Texas A&M in a big spot here. Texas A&M in a big spot. <laughs> Man, y'all Auburn fans are nuts, bro. Y'all are nuts. Y'all are just nuts, man. It cracks me up. 
it cracks me up the stuff that y'all post on Twitter. It's absolutely freaking hilarious. Absolutely hilarious. Tommy Sack. What is it? Sacco? Sacco? Tommy Sacco, shortstop, bat second for the TCU Horn Frogs. Hey, if you've never been to TCU and they're like campus or whatever, legit. Legit. I love it. I absolutely love it. Like the whole Fort Worth, Arlington, like Dallas area. Oh boy. Oh boy. TCU just hit a bomb. Wow, TCU up 9-8. Man, as soon as he made contact, like I said, that area, a freaking blast, man. TCU, fucking clutch. Oh. How clutch. Bottom eight, two outs, runner on third. And you just hit a nuke. I knew it off the bat, bro. I mean, y- y'all heard me. I was like, oh, shit. A&M, man. A&M at home, though. Don't count them out in that ninth inning. They're really, really good, man. Really, really good baseball team. Tommy got all of that. So he hit it to the other brick wall. All right. He got every piece of it. Got a lefty on lefty right here. Two outs, bottom eight. Braden Taylor. 1028 OPS for TCU. He's hitting like 328 or something like that. These dudes in college are freaks, bro. Like, they're freaks. These cats can rate, man. Like, the college game is so fun to watch. And the fact that, like, no baseball this weekend was, like, on legitimate TV. Like, no college baseball was on legitimate TV. Like, it's such dog shit, you know? Like, put these games on national television. I know the Women's College World Series is on right now, and, like, women's softball draws a lot, a lot of viewers and money and all that stuff because it's, like, in my opinion, it's hands down the best women's sport. Like, dude, it's so fucking competitive. Like, I love women's softball. Like, women's college softball is so fucking legit. Like, those girls are so athletic and just just so fucking good. Um, But – like, you don't have a game on, you know, like, like you had, like, very few games on ESPN2 and stuff like that. Like, bro, you got to hammer, start hammering college baseball. And, like, what was that, like, Bobo-ass uh, streaming service that they were putting it on, like, 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 Flow Sports or whatever? Like, that shit is garbage. Like, and you want me to pay, like, $29 a month for it? Like, get the out here. Like, I'm not doing it. I'm sorry. Like, garbage. Like, I watched, like, two Auburn games on it at the very beginning of the season when they were out in Arlington, and it it was like I was watching some shit from the 90s. Like, it was so blurry and everything. I was like, man, this is terrible. Um, but TCU just draw, they drew a two-out walk. So, it's still, still 9-8. Curtis, Curtis Byron, the catcher, 802 uh, OPS for him. Where's number four? Uh, got the nice little traditional stance. Looks at a fastball right down the gap. Uh, dog, I'm watching the bottom line. What about the fucking angels? What about the angels? Like we're we're going over into MLB because like when I do my podcast, like I, I know I like I cover Auburn baseball and stuff, but I always like to dip over into Major League Baseball and talk about Major League Baseball because. I just love watching baseball, right? But the fucking Los Angeles Angels have fallen off a cliff. And I feel like they do this shit every single year. And I'm sick of it. I'm sick of it. Like, Mike Trout's the GOAT. And and I get that. Like, I accept it. But 
people are like, oh, well, you know, like it's not his fault they don't make the playoffs. Like it's it's this 11-game losing streak. Like some of it's his fault. Like like we got to stop giving a pass every now and then. Like got to hold Mikey accountable, all right? Because he's like oh for his last 35. Like I, I mean, you throw in – five six hits in there that you know they they might not be on an 11 game losing streak like come on like like not everything like he doesn't get a free pass on everything like like you got to produce dog um and i and i know he's gonna he's gonna bust out of it and probably go on a freaking tear and all that stuff but like some people still have him like leading the mvp race over aaron judge and like aaron judge is like from another planet right now, dude. Like, you know, lead off bomb yesterday and, like, he's playing center field, too. Like, Aaron Judge, like, running shit down in center field for the Yankees. Like, dude, six seven and just hawking shit. Like, crazy. Aaron Judge is a beast. And, honestly, like, if I'm his agent, don't even call my phone unless you're offering, like, 33, 34 million a year. Sorry, like, click, you know, not listening to you. So the Yankees are going to have to pay. The Yankees are going to have to pay a, a pretty penny. And I know there's there's other guys that they have to pay, uh, like like Jamison Tyon and guys like that. Like, I mean, how good is their starting pitching being, too? Like, the Yankees are like filthy with starting pitching, like filthy. Um like all of them, like Savvy, Cole, all these people are like, oh, Cole's trash. Like, man, TCU is tearing the cover off the baseball. He said a line shot out to left center. Guy goes from first to third. Uh, that was a one two count, too. TCU, man, down eight to seven in the eighth. And they come up and hit a two run bomb to take a nine eight lead. Now they got runners on first and third after that piss missile in, into left center. I got two outs. Texas A and M, man. I'm no, don't be scared for A and M. Don't be scared for A and M, man. Don't be scared for them. It, it, look, it's baseball, dog. It's baseball. Like TCU's a, they're a good team. Don't be scared for A and M. Um, even if they lose this game, you still got to come back and 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 lose. You know, they'd still have to lose tomorrow. And it's going to be really, really hard for TCU to beat a and M tomorrow because one thing about this man like like obviously it's not impossible to get too scooped right but that guy still second text a and fakes the throw down but like it's not impossible to get too scooped but Texas a and m has all their pitching right like like they're loaded uh, they didn't really have to use a whole lot this weekend like like they still have arms in there and like TCU, what, what what was TCU scores like? What like what were they looking at? Let's see, see men's baseball like Friday, like let's see, let's see, TCU, TCU, TCU. Okay, they lost seven to six to Louisiana Lafayette, right. and then. What they do, TCU Oral Roberts. They beat Oral Roberts, yeah, three to one. Like Ole Miss is just, I mean, Ole Miss A and M. Then, yeah, and then today, let's see, what they do today. What they do today, six to one. Okay, over him. I mean. I mean, they did their part, so, I mean, they didn't really have to use a lot of pitching either. Um, man. A&M's got to get out of this right here, though. Like, you can't let it get any bigger than a one-run one run game. Like, no way. You, you got to get out of this 2-0. Man. Thing about this is, is your 2-0, like you don't want to just pump a fastball right on the cock, because like they know that like obviously that's coming. Like it's a hitter's count 2-0. Like
What a play. What a play. What a play. Yeah, it's an infield single. Man, I'm so far behind on this ESPN app. Like, like, dog, get it together. Like, ESPN and the streaming stuff and all that. Like, get it together, man. Um, Got to run her on. Got to run her on. Run her on first with nobody out. Texas A&M. Dude, like, this is what, I, this is what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about. Like, you don't let it get – like, you don't let it get out of hand right there. You're down one, going into the ninth. You're at home, Bluebell Park. Like, it, A&M can stroke, like – Second baseman with a great play there to get out of that inning. And, it's, I mean, oh man, how about Auburn, man? Like, just the freaking lightning delays. Like, it's been the craziest. Hey, Texas State, five to four. Texas State, bro, that was my biggest, like, that, hey, three one. Love to see it. Love to see it. What are we working with over here? A and M. A and M. Three one. Let's go. Let's go right here. Let's go right here. Maybe maybe my phone might be a little faster than this. Uh, let's see if we can get something right here. Come on. Come on. What you got? NM has runners on first and second. Let's go. Santiago, let's go. Come on. Hey, my question to you is do you bunt here? Do you bunt? Like, I mean, I think I might. Give me give me off this. Give me off this. Give me off this. Give me off. Give me off. Give me off. Me off. Me off. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Go. Let's see him as baseball. Texas a &M. Love that. Let's let's try to pull this up. Hey, here we go. Let's go. What we got? What we got? What we got? There's nobody out. I, it, of course, yeah, you have to bunt. You're at home too. Like on the road, I might not bunt, but at home, like I'm 100 percent bunt. Bro, I'm so far behind on this. Like they're just starting the ninth in it. Like Santiago, you're gonna have to keep me up with Eddie with this, man. Like I'm gonna flip over here to the Stanford Texas State game. You gotta keep me up to date with this. Don't leave. Don't leave. You gotta keep me up to date. Let's go to let's go to squeeze play. Let's see what squeeze play is doing. Oh, they have it split screen, bro. Love that. Love that, bro. They have it split screened with AM and TCU. So like squeeze play is like more up to date. It's like, what's going on here at Texas State and Stanford? They're replaying. It looks like a tag. A way to take the split screen away. Like, come on, dog. Like, this is a big. Oh, he's safe. Oh, he caught him out. No way. He's safe. He's safe. He's safe. Oh, he's safe. He is safe. No way. If they if they hold this up, I know they hardcore want. Let's see, it's Texas dunk. What is it? 
the pitching change. Oh, okay, okay, pitching change. Okay, uh, is Texas done for? No, they are moving on to the super regional. Uh, oh, you talking about Texas A and M? Oh, uh, but no, hey, the team that surprised me the most, Texas A and M. Like, I mean, uh, Texas. Like, oh, they just cut over to the Auburn game. Yeah, they're they're done. Like, they're not come back tomorrow. See you later. Uh, Texas surprised me. Like, they handled business. I mean, I didn't expect Texas to just fly through that region, even though they were hosting. Like, Air Force had beat them already, and, like, it just like, – their pitching's been kind of shaky all year, and they just beat the shit out of everybody. Like, uh, uh, TCU bringing in Caleb Bolden, 5-2 and two on the year with a 5-1-7 ERA, 38 innings pitch, 33 hits, 47-17 to 17 K to walk ratio. I need Texas A&M to hit a nuke, Santiago. I need or, – or at least a gap shot. Like, A&M was one of my picks, bro. What? He was called out? Man, get out of here, bro. Like, sometimes I feel like – sometimes I feel like these guys, they want to push certain conferences. I, I know that's bad to say, but, but a lot of people – like they, they they just don't want like strictly SEC, you know. Like they they want to push the Pac-12 heavy because I like I know there's like a lot of money out there and everything and and all that, but like they're just I don't know, man. Like it, it's just. That's okay. That's okay. Okay, it just happened on my screen. Terrible bone attempt. Awful. Awful San Diego. Like, like. Oh. I mean, you got to go again. You got to bone again. But it's got to be better, bro. Um, like you have to get the bunt down. You just don't bunt it straight back to the pitcher. Nine to nine. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I said throw the bunt back down. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> the bubbles, I love it. I love it. The bubbles. Let's go. Let's go. So pumped, dog. Like Texas a and Love it. Bluebell Park. Hey, I love the the little ball four, ball five, ball six. Like College Station, man. Great place. Great place. Uh, Texas, man. Love Texas. Great place. Um, Every time I've been out to Texas, man, it, it's just been a, an absolute blast. Uh, I got to go out to Dallas and, and Fort Worth and, and Arlington and got to see Jerry World and when Auburn played out there and they played Oregon. And, and look at them, look at these bubbles, dog. Like, <laughs> Texas a and That is great, man. That is that is good stuff. Um just they have such a good atmosphere out there in Texas, bro. Like people love the sports. Like they're generally like like genuinely like bought in to the sports out there. And it's like so uh so much fun to watch, man. It's like just hard working people, good people, and uh it's uh it's a hell of a state, man. It's a hell of a state. Stanford over here in the bottom of the seventh. What you got? That chant. Yes, sir. <laughs> Runners on corners, no outs, bro. Hey, all you need right here, man, fly ball. Fly ball. Like, I know a, a bunch of people right here in this situation. They're like, hey, throw down a bunt, uh, you know, do like a squeeze or nothing. No, just, just – they're playing, they're playing infield in. You just need something out in the outfield, and you win the game. Good take. Really good take. 
I know I'm like I know I'm like a few seconds behind you, but uh, really good take. Two zero count. Love that. He's about to throw. He's about to throw pitch number two right now. Um, but they're they're doing this the split screen on the uh, on the squeeze play app, and and I really like that. It's pretty pretty cool. Oh yeah, really good take. So now him falling behind two zero count, like you got to pump a fastball right here. So now like you're one hundred percent, you're sitting green light. I mean, three zero. Oh my god. Uh, do you, do you get him the three zero? Ball three. <laughs> I love that. Uh, do you give him the green light on three zero? Absolutely not. I don't know. Look at you over there, night owl in it tonight. Nasal strip. <laughs> Three one. Okay. Hey, it, just a nasal strip. <laughs> That's a fact. Get, get that good sleep. You're still one too. I know. You are. I know. Well. Good sleep. Three one. Come on, A and M. Come on. Are they your wife? Yeah. Walked in bases loaded. Let's go. No outs. The only thing I don't like about this, man, is now you got the force of the plate. Um looks like I'm gonna sleep in the other room. Huh? Looks like I'm gonna sleep in the other room. What? No, she's not going to be sleeping there. I can tell you that. <laughs> she's not because she's going to roll off the and bed. Buddy's got her spot. Well, because she, she's going to roll off the bed like she did last time, and she needs to go sleep in her own bed. <laughs> she needs to. Do. Hey, ball four. Daddy's ball you four. Your bed. Ball four. She, she, you're talking to a brick wall uh -huh. because that's not going to happen. Emma. Daddy said you need to go sleep in your own bed. I know, man. Come on, A and M. That's funny. Come on, A and M. Hey. I love you. One one count. That's not a bad take on that o uh, that o o pitch, that breaking ball. You spit on that. He's looking for a fastball to drive, man. Looking for a fastball to drive. I mean, I absolutely love college baseball. I just, man. I don't know what time Auburn comes back on tomorrow officially. Let me see. I can text... Um, let me see. Let me see. Two one now. All of that. Texas A and M man. Bandy one. Please win again tomorrow. One thing. Oh yeah. Night late night game. Come through tomorrow. Let's we'll see. Up, oh, Lindsay. Fun rain delay distractions. UCLA assistant coach comes out, gets soaked in the dugout, and heads to the beer tent. PA plays Sheila Luna, Sonny's walk up song, and he pops out the dugout as it fades out to wave to the crowd. 2 2. <sighs> See, then a cell phone light show by fans to Purple Rain. Weird. Uh, fans are like still in the stadium, like waiting it out. Don't know. Hey, babe, could you put that back on the Auburn channel? Just in case if they like. I don't know. Okay, so just go to the Hulu thing like you always do. Okay. And then. Head it live down. Auburn, UCLA. Let's go. Uh, yeah, yeah, go ahead and hit that. 
and you can just leave it there. Let's go, Santiago. Let's go. Get the bubbles. Get the bubbles. A and M up. Let's go. Man, like, like, you couldn't ask for anything better right there. Like, anything better. One out. Yeah, so, like, crime, like, I don't know if, I don't know, I don't know if Auburn has, like, officially been delayed because, like, people are still in the stands. So, it's, it's weird, but. Put us on hold again. Let's see, Southeastern Conference. Um, two o count, Santiago, bro. I love you keeping me updated, man. I you're so clutch because I'm like a pitch behind and. Look, this guy behind the behind the plate with the shades on for Texas a and an absolute stud, man. He's just like, hey, like, <laughs> two one count, love it, love it. Tomorrow I will be a Vandy Whistler fan for once if Vandy wins and Auburn hosts the Super Regional. Oh, man, that ball was on the outer half, Santiago. It was on the outer half. I don't know if I agree with it. It was, it was a little out. Yeah, shake your head. It's a little out. 2-2. Two, two. Oh, man. We need more than one run right here, bro. We need to make this 11-9, 12-9 game. Santiago, like, we're going to do, um, like, a super regional episode, and we're going to, like, pick our College World Series. Like, the reason I didn't want to do it in the regionals, 3-2, love that. Um, the reason I didn't want to do it in the regionals is because, like, I knew there was going to be upsets, and, like, I had my eight teams. But I really want to get in these super regionals and break them down because I think there's going to be some damn good matchups. And – Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah, they're in Omaha for sure. I got them in there. They're one of my eight for sure. Uh, never doubted it one bit. I think DG, my co-host, I think he had his doubts. Walked in. Love to see it. Let's go. Bases loaded. One out. We're cooking. We're cooking, man. We're cooking. I love Texas A&M, dude. Hey, I'll tell you what. I can't wait for that Texas A&M Alabama game. Football game. Can't wait. I'm ex I'm so excited. I hope Texas A&M drags them. Oh, one out. Bases loaded. Bat flip the wall. Wow, I just saw that. Absolutely love it. But, yeah, this, uh, this Texas A&M Alabama football game is going to be bananas. It's going to be bananas. The Jimbo versus Saban. Love to see it. Absolutely love to see it. Like, I'm pumped. It says, I, what, what is going on with Auburn, bro? Like, I got it on my big screen, but, like, it just says, like, rain delay. Like, there hasn't been an official – there hasn't been an official uh, announcement, like, if they're playing tomorrow or not. So, I don't know. What's going on? UCLA's guys are coming out of the dugout with their bats and bags. They're banging this. I'll pass on info on tomorrow's restart as soon as I get it. There it is. There it is. Per sources, there's no official word yet. Lindsey Crosby, man. UCLA packed their stuff up. They're going back to the hotel. Stanford just looks like Stanford just scored. Oh, wow. They. Oh, man. 
seven to four over Texas State. Not good. UCLA's guys are coming out of the dugout with their bats and bags. They're banging this. I'll pass along info on tomorrow's restart. Sucks. Sucks. Best upcoming series this week. Nine up, nine down podcast. Mets at Padres. Absolutely. Mets at Padres. I don't even have to ask. 1-0 count. Love that. Love that. Now we're to put him. Uh, Mets at Padres. Yankees at Twins. Dodgers at White Sox. Cardinals at Rays. Mets at Padres. Absolutely. 100%. 100%. Mets at Padres. Not even close. Not even close. I love those New York Mets this year. One one count. Those New York Mets are so good this year, man. Like, who's your MLB team? One two. One two. That's okay. That's okay. Just just, just put the ball in play right here. Hit it hard. Hey. Astros. Okay, okay. Um, my thing with the Astros, bro, is like the cheating scandal, right? I'm I'm not mad about it anymore, right? Like, it happened. It's cool. Foul ball. Love that. Uh, it happened, and I just wish, like, they would have kind of owned up to it a little more, you know? And I would have just liked them to be a little more, like, truthful about it. And instead, they just kind of acted like it never happened. You know, like, oh, I mean, but when we look at it, like, people cheat. Like, they weren't the only team doing it, you know. Oh, line drive caught. Damn it. But, yeah, man, like, they weren't the only team doing it. And you can't tell me. That they were like there was other people doing it. They just didn't. Uh, they didn't get the the spotlight. Oh my god, the dive back to third. Oh, but yeah, like I. Uh, yeah, we definitely need a hit for sure. Need a hit or take a walk. Like TCU will walk a small village. Uh, but yeah, man, the Astros, like, they're really freaking good, man. Like, even though, uh, one of love that. Like, even though Carrera left, like, Jeremy Pena, star, absolute superstar. Love Jeremy Pena. He is going to be a freaking stud. And there's like Kyle Tucker and all those cats too. Oh, love that. Uh, Kyle Tucker. I mean, they're freaking yes, yes. Jeremy Pena, so good. Love him, dude. I absolutely love him. He like that's why they let Correa walk. Yes, yes. Jordan, and they just wrapped up Jordan. Like he is gonna be an Astro for what six years and hit. Let's go. Let's go. Yes, sir. Can't wait to watch this. 2 0, bro. That's why you can't fight. Emma. That's why you can't fall. That's why you can't fall behind 2 0, bro. Because you, you put yourself in a, in, a, in a position where you have to throw a fastball. Two runs, 12 9. Yeah, I just, just, just saw the gap shot, bro. Like, and I love your updates, man. You're so quick with it. I absolutely love it. <laughs> Look at the bubbles. Look at the bubbles. <laughs> man, I love it. Um, but, like, you put yourself in a position to throw a fastball, and every hitter knows it, man. And when you fall behind in counts, they just sit dead red. And it doesn't matter how hard you throw. Like, all these people are like, oh, well, he throws 96, 97. Who cares? Like, these dudes are D1 athletes, bro. Like, they're going to catch up to it, and they're going to put they're gonna put metal on it. And uh, 
aluminum on it, and and they're gonna stroke the baseball. One zero count. Oh, if if they get a hit right here and and tack on another one, I mean, I already think it's over. But there is bubbles going across the field right now. I mean, that is electric, absolutely electric. Like Texas A and M, bro, with. Are they really coming back? Are they really coming back out? No. Yeah, game is officially suspended. Auburn UCLA will resume tomorrow. Time to be announced. Yeah. Kind of sucks. Game. Jason Caldwell, he is an Auburn beat writer. Uh, game has been suspended until Monday with Auburn up 9 to nothing on UCLA in the bottom of the six. No start time has been announced yet for a Monday resumption. Kind of sucks. Single time, bro. Sorry, I'm on here with uh. I, I like I like Gary Sheffield Jr.'s takes. I had him on the podcast like a week ago or whatever, and I, I really really like his takes. And uh, he was fun to talk to, man. Like we talked about the Yankees and hit him. Oh my god, TCU falling apart, bro. Like, ugh. TCU absolutely falling apart. Excuse me. Emma, what are you doing? <clears throat> Stanford 8-4 to four over Texas State now. Looks like they'll be playing tomorrow. Going under review in the back. That's tough. I just saw it. That's tough. Mm, Stanford is spanking the base. What a play. What a catch by Texas State's right fielder. Number seven. Don't know his name, but a freaking play. All right, well, Santiago, man, I'm about to hop off here. I have to go to work tomorrow, and it is 11.46, and I have to be up at like 4.30 in the morning, bro. So I think Texas a and has got this one in the bag. But if there's anything on tomorrow, tomorrow night, we're going to hop on here. Me and DG, I believe, uh, might get my brother – um, Dalton to hop on here too, give his picks, and we will get that episode to you. And Stanford just hit a piss missile out of center, did not carry. Texas State caught it, but we uh, we will get that episode to you, bro. So hey, appreciate you guys. Have a good one. On hey, yeah, appreciate y'all guys for joining me. Love y'all, man. Love the support. Absolutely love it. Appreciate y'all. Go Aggies. Go Aggies, baby. Love to see it. SEC.